Sir Handel and Peter Sam were simmering in the shed one morning as they were being prepared. Sir Handel was dozing contently in the morning sun. But Peter Sam was worried. I don't like what's happening, he said to Sir Handel. I do, replied Sir Handel smugly. Without all that good traffic, it means less time dealing with dirty, disobedient trucks and more time being an important passenger engine pulling sensible coaches. What are you so worried about? Peter Sam shot a glare at Sir Handel. It's like what happened before, he whispered sharply. Sir Handel knew what Peter Sam meant and quickly apologised. Don't you two worry, Scarlo, he said sleepily. We've been through worse times than this before you arrived. Besides, we know something that you don't. What do you know? asked Peter Sam. We know, answered Reneus as he rolled up from the water stand. The thin controller's got a plan. The two old engines said no more. They just winked at each other, leaving Peter Sam in suspense as he steamed away for work. Peter Sam felt nervous as he idled at the top station. When he ran around his train, the little engine spied the thin controller on the platform, talking to a group of smartly dressed gentlemen. Oh no! wailed Peter Sam. They've come to purchase us, I knew it! Peter Sam didn't, of course, but before he could say another word, the guard blew his whistle and waved his green flag. They've come to take us away, they've come to take us away, Peter Sam puffed nervously. That evening, the thin controller came to the sheds to speak with the engines and their crews. As you all know, our railway is going through a difficult time, he said. We can't rely on sleet anymore, and while we service a number of villages, passengers aren't as plentiful as they once were. He turned to Scarloe and Reneus. I realise we've been through worse before, and it was determination that pulled us through, but it will take a lot more than that this time. Please, sir, begged Peter Sam, don't close the railway. The thin controller stared, and then smiled assuringly. <laughs> close the railway? Heavens no! We are going to extend it. The engines were surprised. I met with a number of important individuals earlier today, and we all agree that our railway needs to draw in more visitors. Small railways on the mainland are turning to enthusiasts to keep going, so tomorrow construction will begin. The line will be extended around the lake, giving people a scenic tour of the Sudrian countryside. The engines listened excitedly as the thin controller unveiled his plan. This will be a big project, so we have enlisted the help of a private engine. He and his owner will arrive tomorrow to help with the construction. The engines were relieved that the railway wouldn't be closing. Scar Lowy and Reneus knew this, but secretly they were relieved too. The next morning, Henry arrived with the first of the supplies. On the flat truck was strapped a small blue saddle tank engine with red lining and a number one on the front of his tanks. His truck was shunted alongside the little engines as the thin controller began to speak. This is number one, the thin controller said proudly. He and his owner have agreed to help us with the construction of the new line and in return they will have a little place to call their own. Please make number one feel welcome. Rusty helped number one off the truck and in no time he was on the rails and being prepared for his first journey up the line. Oh, it's good to be on firm rails again, number one sighed happily. Was it a long journey from your railway? Rusty asked. Oh, not at all, number one replied. I used to work at a shipyard not very far from your island. One day they told me I was too old-fashioned and I was going to be replaced. My owner stepped in and saved me from the scrapyard. Rusty was impressed. Ever since I left the shipyard, the little engine continued, I've been shut up for a long time waiting for a new railway to call home. 
I'm looking forward to moving under my own steam again. I must say, that truck was not comfortable at all. I'd imagine not, chuckled Rusty. <laughs> In no time, number one was simmering happily. Mr. Hugh came to look him over. Rusty was marshalling trucks nearby, filled with tools and equipment bound for the construction site. At last the train was ready and Rusty was given the all clear to leave. The trucks moved at first, but as the couplings lost their slack, the little diesel found it impossible to make it out of the yard. Ah, oh, looks like we're going to have to make two trips, groaned Rusty's driver. It's no good, said the foreman. This is the only window of opportunity we have today, and there are no other engines available to help. Just then, they heard an unfamiliar whistle. It was number one, who sidled up alongside. I could help, sir, he said. Your inspector says I'm in fine working order, and besides, I'll be going there myself. Well, it's worth a try, smiled the foreman. And so, number one was coupled in front of Rusty and the trucks, and with a great effort, the two little engines got the heavy train moving out of the yard and onto the open line. Sir Handel stood at the station platform, waiting for his passengers to board the coaches. It wasn't long before Rusty and Number One came into view. They both tooted as they passed through the station. Well, I never, gasped Sir Handel. When Rusty returned to the shed that evening, Sir Handel was waiting for him. It was lucky I had Number One to help me today, said Rusty. We made good time, and the workmen were able to start setting up that new siding. Why didn't the new engine come back with you? Sir Handel asked abruptly. The thing controller thought it best if he stayed at the top, so he doesn't have to travel up the line every morning to start work. Pah! scoffed Sir Handel. If that's what the new line's construction is going to be like, I can manage it myself. Oh, can you now? said a voice. It was the thin controller. I was very pleased with your work today, Rusty. You worked very hard and showed number one the line. He turned to Sir Handel. Since you aren't content with pulling coaches, Sir Handel, I have decided to assign you to the construction team along with Rusty and number one to help complete the new line. You can start by shunting trucks tomorrow morning bright and early. Rusty hid his laughter, but Sir Handel seethed for the rest of the night. <laughs>